welcome to another Runner's Corner. It's good to see you this uh, bright, shining day, or this overcast day. Who knows what know. the day will be like when this episode premieres. Looks like it could rain, maybe. I hope they know that we film these like a month in advance. I know. Yeah. So, so I we mean, have no idea what's actually going on. Yeah. But if I'm thinking correctly, this week is an exciting week, and we've gotten a lot of product in by this. Yeah, time. surprisingly, and some of it kind of blindsided us too. Like yep. it, it seemed like the week before, some new stuff came in. It's like, wow, it's March and new stuff still coming in, and then we got more new stuff. Yep. And so we'll start off with uh, something that's not quite as exciting, but I think worth uh, <laughs> noticing. Uh, Youth Runner Magazine. Yeah. I haven't seen this. I didn't know we were going to get it in. I'm sure Hawk did something about that. All right. Well. Because I think Summer has been mentioned in Youth Runner before. It's kind. So. It kind of looks like a mix between Running Times, Runner's hey, Mary World. Mary Kane. Yep. Got Mary Kane in there. Mary Kane. She's youthful. Yeah. So we've got that. Um, something that we've had in the store for a couple weeks, but we've never mentioned. Yeah, are these are pretty cool. Your buds, women's specific color. Yeah, a new color, and it even has a new size. From what I remember, it has a size four in there, uh -huh. size which they used to only make a five. Yep, it's got a size four, and it's got a size six. Or oh. it's either a four and a five or a four and a six, but it does come with two sizes. And uh, for those for those of you who don't know what your buds are. It's like a, a silicone piece that goes over the earbud, and it comes with both things. The earbud plus the silicone piece slides into the ear, kind of locks in, and it doesn't fall out. In fact, they, they say that it will, it will yeah. not fall out. If you go to their website, they have a bunch of videos of, at least they used to. This is like their original promotion. They're they used probably to still around. Like on people YouTube like trying to knock them out. Like yeah. Doing backflips and yeah. crazy stuff. Trying to have Sumo the, wrestling. Yeah. I and they won't that. fall out unless you have a deformed ear. And I have loved, I've had two sets of them and I have loved them. I think awesome product, good sound quality, yeah. haven't fallen out. Um, yeah, just awesome. So um, yeah, headphone. Um, we've got some options for with that have like a dry mic on them for uh -huh. phones. There's a higher quality. They even have yeah. a cord one. Yeah, like that's not the just a wire. Kevlar. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. if you're sick of your earphones breaking, think of the new it's the Inspire line, a little higher end. Uh, the Iron, uh, Iron Man yeah, series. Iron Man series. Um, and then a couple new shoes to show you. Yeah, this one is. Pretty Cool. They're we'll all start, pretty cool. Yeah, we'll start with this one. Um, this one yes. Yeah, it's coming. Okay. So the WR10 there we have in, issues. we'll show you the MR10 when it comes in. Well, look um, how beautiful this thing yeah, is. Yeah, it's a really good looking shoe. Yeah. So it was kind of confusing when the MR00 or the Minimus 0, however you want to call it, came out. Because a lot of people thought that. And honestly, I was one of them for a while. Thought the MR00 was replacing the MR10. And it wasn't. It was really just coming out to supplement it. But yeah. this is replacing the MR10 because this is the MR10 II. Yep. And it's got a 4 millimeter drop. And that's probably, I mean, the, the, M, the WR10, MR10, it's got the 4 millimeter drop. The 00 is a zero drop. Yeah. And so that is the defining characteristic. But they've put. That they've made the bottom of this just a little bit different. Got kind of this honeycomb molecule type bottom, and looks like a sweet, yeah. sweet shoe. Pretty good feedback so far. And color Very ways. flexible. Awesome. Color ways are sweet. Um, awesome shoe. And then here's a shoe that I just got recently. Here's the women's. Yeah. Here's this the is men's. another update. The first one. We had a lot of hope for the first one, yeah. and then it was like, oh, man. And I think that this is finally what we were waiting for yeah. when the first one came out. This is the A6 Gel Light 33 V2. Um, and I put 18 miles on mine. Well, I was only going to do 9 or 10 and then switch shoes because uh -huh. it was a brand new pair. But I did the first, and they felt good, so I continued to run in them. But I did 18 on Saturday and then 8 this morning in them. They feel pretty good. Upper is a lot better. Some of you. Yeah, it looks a lot. Yeah, a lot better it's, it than the first reminds one. me a lot of the XL and the Neo, 
But you'll remember that some of these, um, in, the, in, the, in the first version, when the foot would come, this would kind of bend in and kind of hit the foot in an uncomfortable spot. Yeah. And so that just was unfortunate and a lot of people didn't get it because of that. These do not do that. Yeah, even it's the midsole. Awesome. The midsole is semi-Nike free with like slits. Uh -huh. Just the overall looks a lot higher quality. Yep. And so far the response has been really good. Really so good. good job, Asics. And I guess I'll mention this. Uh, they showed me some stuff coming out in fall 13. And they've got a new shoe called so this, this Super fall. J. Oh. And I'll show a picture. Well, it looks pretty cool. It's another lightweight option. But here is the Super J. Pretty cool. Pretty lightweight. Upper's really different. I don't know what kind of material it is, but it looks like it's got a good toe box. Um, it's it meant to be like lightweight stability. Like the speed star. I know. That's what, speed star that's what that's what Amber it. said when she first saw it. She okay. thought that looks like the speed star, kinda, which is kind of cool. Kind of but really lightweight. Looks pretty cool. Um, I'm hopeful for it. Then they have Keanu 20. Two have you seen that two commercial? Decades. Two decades of the Keanu, no. They have like What's a the... new Keanu. Well, Asics is doing some more advertising, trying to get the hype back good, up for Asics. For for and they have this lady like cruising around in a Keanu. And I was watching a jazz game or something, and it came on, and my brother Derek's just like, I think he wouldn't run that fast if they're in a Keanu. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Anyways, but the Keanu is kind of a heavier shoe for those of you who don't know. Uh, it's built for people who overpronate and <laughs> yeah. for people who. Not that you can't run fast if you overpronate. Right. Yeah, it's just, it's just it is a bulkier, heavier. Yeah, we don't tend to trainer. bring out the Keanu unless someone asks for the it. The shoe that's heavier than the Keanu is the Brooks Beast. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then, as far as events go, this Thursday we've got the Pi Run on. 314 on March 14th and mm -hmm. just got some notice today that we will have full size runs of the Verada. We'll have a few Nathan belts. We'll have the Speed 2, the Speed 2 Autocant, this, the Nathan Trail Mix, and uh, one or two different styles of handhelds to test during our 3.14 mile run. Yeah. And, uh, and then obviously, if you didn't know already, free shoes to the winners of the pie contest. So you bring pies, everybody judges them, and uh, it'll be at Runner's Corner. Be a yep. huge, fun event. Good sponsors. Like you said, Saucony, Nathan. Should be pretty cool. Yep. And I think as far as product goes, I think that's it. We did have some good responses to our yeah, question sure. of what would be, what would you expect to win a free pair of shoes? So yeah. stay tuned. We're going to do the contest again, but we yeah. probably won't do it today. Yeah. We didn't talk about that before. We yeah, we kind of rushed. We got blindsided by a couple things. Yeah. And you got blindsided by your kid. <laughs> this is a birthmark, by the way. <laughs> Just kidding. If you uh, want to know the story, you come into the store. I'm not going to say it on national television. I'm pretty sure we're going to do what someone has already suggested. Like okay. I really, really liked one of them. Cool. So, so stay, stay tuned for so that. next week... Promise we're gonna redo the can or Verata challenge, um, and we'll we'll, we'll, ha we'll we hold that it. standard yep. to like twenty people. We still want twenty people because, but I'm happy. It seems like people I didn't really realize were watching it are watching this, which is kind of cool, I guess. Yeah. Uh, but we want to just to make sure it's kind of worth our time, and it's a free pair of shoes, so. And it's a free pair of really cool shoes. They're good. good if you shoes. want to see how good they are, come to Runner's Corner on Thursday. Oh, and you, and you will be able to out. test them outside for yeah. at least 3.14 miles. And then you can do our challenge by watching us next week. Yeah. And it would be pretty cool. Yep. Um, racing. Let's do ra racing news. Yeah, so uh, quiet locally. But there was a big national event, which was indoor nationals for NCAA. Uh, the two big like winners there were Abby D'Agostino, who won. Who she doubled in the three k and five k. Who does she run? Who does she run for? That is a good question. Sorry. I never remember who these 
girls run for. I just remember, I, I just, I just if I remember like their, like their no names, that's probably good enough for me. Oh, uh, it looks like Dartmouth. D- yeah, Dartmouth. Dartmouth. I just, I say Dartmouth. I'm pretty sure it's Dartmouth. I, but I, I was I, just I, happy no, that I'm she beat Jordan to say. I don't know why I have. I just think. I don't like all the attention Jordan Hesse gets. She's a good runner, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of hype. Lot but of hype. I think the hype has kind of turned me off. Like, oh, Jordan Hesse is the best. She has her own fan club. But congrats to Abby D'Agostino, who doubled. Then on the men's side, there was another double, which was by Lawi Lelang. And Lawi runs for Arizona. I know that yep. much. And he doubled in the mile. And he ran a new NCAA record there with 3.54. And the 3K ran a 7.45. And then other cool winners, 5K men's was won by Kennedy Kathuka, who was a cross-country champion. And the women's mile was won by an Olympian in the steeplechase who runs for Colorado, Emma Coburn. Oh, yeah, yeah. So... I'm a big fan of Colorado's program. It was yep. good to see Emma Coburn come awesome. win the mile. I think that bodes well for her outdoor season, yep. considering it was probably like the only time she's even raced this entire year. She steps on the trap for NCAA and Kills it. wins it. That's so. awesome. And, uh, and, and BYU guys and girls oh, yeah. did decently. In the 5K, I didn't really see – I was expecting to see some more 800 action yeah. in the girls. Um, but we – it wasn't any representation, so that we was kind two, of... had two guys, was it in the 5K or 3K? 5K, so Jared, Jared Ward, Ward and Taylor Thatcher. Jared Ward took ninth, um, ran sub 14, okay. which is always a pretty good accomplishment, awesome. especially indoor. Yeah. So good to see BYU out there, and yeah, yeah. Stay tuned. Till next week, free baratas.